Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, it was a beautiful day. And I went out to have a peek in my garden. And I started foraging. Tonight, we're having a garden forage soup. Well, and a pantry pull as well. Borscht with potato dumplings. So here's what we have. We have a jar of turkey and broth. We have a jar of sludgy potatoes. And here's what I got out of the garden. Now I've washed all of these, but I have a nice handful of beets, a nice hand, small handful of chard, parsley, chives. They're probably tough, so we're going to cut them up fine. Three little parsnips. Oh, another piece of chard. And here is uh, some garlics that did not get planted. I found them in the bottom of the strainer. I'm going to grab an onion and we're going to make borscht. Alright, so first things first, we're going to get our turkey broth in here. With the little bits of meat. I'm going to turn this on high. We're going to open up a jar of our sludgy potatoes and I'm just going to pour that off of there and I'm going to take out half and I'm going to save the rest for dumplings. Now this may not seem like a lot folks but I guarantee you it's plenty for us and you think about this and this is an onion from my garden that I had in the stocking in the pantry. I figured with with such a, a meal putting my own onion in is just you know without thinking right. We're just gonna coarsely chop all this garlic crush it so it don't you mince it however you like This just wanted to be in the soup because it escaped to the bottom of the basket when I was replanting and I didn't see them. So, I'm going to put that in the soup. Let's do our onion from my garden. I didn't get many, but you know what? I got enough. I got enough that uh, I will continue to grow onions. These are supposed to be Spanish onions, but remember, I live in Canada. My growing season where I live is quite shorter than a lot of other people's. Nice and crisp and pungent. And then that goes. take our scissors make sure that I've had to pull quite a bit of grass out of here and this is pretty rough um, chives but you know what if we cut them up real tiny they'll do great for flavor and they won't get caught in your teeth being too long this is I guarantee you the last garden pull video of the year Parsley. I'm going to pull all the stalks down and all the leaves up top. I'm just going to give this a haircut and trim that. I could have brought in some rosemary, but I figured with the garlic and the chives and the onion and the parsley, it would be just right. Chives and parsley into the soup. Borscht is basically. Uh, a vegetable soup with a beet base, beets and greens. Now, although I scrubbed this, I'm going to cut that piece off because it's broken and got dirt in it. Although I scrubbed this, there's something about parsnips I just don't like 
the skin on them. And these have had several frosts, so they're going to be just lovely little bits of sweetness in the, uh, in the soup. Chop them up. And into the pot they go. A little bit of Swiss chard. Now with the vet, with these greens, we're going to have to cut them up really fine, or how we will bitch. It's not the got anything to do with the flavor. It's just got to do with me. He thinks I'm trying to put something over on him, and that's all he's getting for a chop. All right. Now I scrubbed these beets. But the, the tougher parts, I'm going to peel. Just a little bit. I don't want any tough pieces, you know what I mean? Doing up some of these greens. Some of the stems too. At this time of year, the beet greens, the larger outer leaves, are going to be tough. So we don't, uh, we don't really do much with them. There's our beets. If I wanted more, I could use a jar of my home canned beets, but it's not gonna look already. And I've still got more greens to put in. Here is, now we've got turkey and broth, parsnips, potatoes, garlic, onion, beets, and greens. Two finger pinch of salt, somebody, and some pepper. Somebody asked me the other day, don't you ever eat fresh vegetables? They're obviously new. They don't watch all my summer videos. Mostly in the winter time, we eat our home canned stuff. We eat seasonally. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. We'll let that cook away for the rest of the day. And the power's out. And so my crock pot is not working. But luckily for I me, this old silver fire stove that uh, brother Jane All Zero gave me a long time ago. So I'm going to put the kettle on and uh, bring the soup out once my kettle's boiled. Well, the power's back on, but since I got this fired up and we are late, it's almost too late to put the soup in the crock. I'll make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to get my borscht on here. Nice bed of coals in there. We'll be back later, and uh, when it's time to make the dumplings, we'll take this in the house and do it then. No sense wasting the hydro now, right? This is boiling away, so I'm just going to let it do its business, and I'll let the fire go out, or at least down so that it's not boiling so hard. Let's get it in the blender there. I'm going to add an egg. All right, here's our pureed potato and onion and egg with a scoop of flour. Now, people ask me for measurements. Folks, I don't go by measurements. I go by consistency. Now, let's just see if I'm going to need more flour. Yeah, I'm going to need more flour. We may have to add some water, but I don't think so. I think this is going to come together quite nicely. Boy, you can smell the potatoes too. I'll work it until it's nice and stiff. These are basically gnocchis, okay? But, you know, we're going to call them potato, potato dumplings just for the sake of keeping it simple. And then we're going to cut them up.
The bigger ones, if you want, you can just stick your thumb in them and flatten them out a little bit. All right, let's take these out and drop them in. Okay, our soup is still bubbling. And I'm just going to drop our dumplings in here, just like that. That will cool things down quite a bit. But I'm going to put a couple more pieces of wood in here. And then I'm just going to uh, let it burn out and let it uh, simmer away for the next hour or so. Okay, our fire is out. Oh, look at that. Let's get this in the house. Okay. My hands are covered in soot. But let's... Oh yeah, baby. I brought it in and put it, kept it on low. This is borscht. Look at that with potato dumpling noodles. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So now, where's the sour cream here? The only thing missing is this. Don't tell the cholesterol and carb police. There we go. Look at that. There you go, dear. I got that all, almost all from the garden. Except for the turkey, of course. Your borscht and potato dumplings, sir. Tired, baby? Mm -hmm. Very tasty. This go. is the Mrs. Wolfie from our this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying I went gleaning in the garden, made supper with it, and I have soot on my face. I just noticed that. <clears throat> it's been a long day. You'll you'll know why I have soot on my face. I went gleaning in the garden and planted a bit of garlic as well. That is making that quarter really squeak. Take care, God bless. Yeah.